Hi, this is Larry Jordan, and this is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar entitled Cool New Utilities for Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, I want to talk about how you can compare project changes using Change List 10. One of the challenges that we have is that deadlines are so tight that sometimes we want to know when a project has changed and what we've changed about it. Well, this is brand new, shipped last week. It's called Change List 10. Intelligent Assistance is the publisher at intelligentassistance.com. It's available in a Mac App Store. It's $199 and change. What it does is it compares the primary storylines of two Final Cut Pro 10 projects and creates a text file or a PDF of the changes between them. Now, it only compares the primary storylines. For those of you that remember Cinema Tools from Final Cut 7, Cinema Tools would only compare clips on V1 and V2. So this does something very, very similar to what Cinema Tools does. It's really useful when you need to keep an audio edit in sync with a changing video edit. You've locked picture, you've exported, you've sent it to Pro Tools, or you've sent it to Audition. They're doing the final mix, and the director walks in and says, oh, by the way, I just want to make a small change, and moves two clips up like about five frames, and suddenly your entire audio edit is totally screwed. This can tell you what happened. What you need to know is that this only displays changes made to the primary storyline of two different projects, and we generally use it to keep audio post in sync with editorial. This can also create a change pull list for additions or a change discard list for deletions. Both projects need to be exported as XML files, that's what we're comparing, and the change list can be displayed as a tab delimited text file or as a PDF. Let's take a look at how it works. Change list 10, open it up, and it says, okay, where's our first XML file? Well, because my demo files have connected clips with them, I'm going to work with something which is simpler. It just has primary storyline. Think of building the, the radio cut or the rough cut or whatever. This affects just the primary storyline. So we're going to open up a demo file I've got stored over here in my webinar assets, and we've got the first video, which is the testimonial, first project. Go to the second one, testimonial two. And do we want to create a PDF document or a tab delimited text document? I want a PDF document because the formatting is inherent. I can have it show in time code, feet and frames, or frame count. I'm going to use time code because I'm most comfortable with that. Portrait letter size for the output. Most of the time I would export the fonts as 12 point, but because we're on a lower resolution display, I want you to be able to read them. I'm going to set it to 14 point and click Save Change List. And we'll save it to the desktop and click OK. That quickly, it's now reconciled those two reports. I'm going to make this bigger here. Document details. When it was generated what the original timeline is, what the secondary timeline is, whether it's time code or frames, the length of the original, the length versus new, the net difference. I'm just scrolling down here. This now shows you an event number starting at what time code, what was done, how long it occurred, what the clip name was, and the total change. Look at that. If you've ever wondered what it was that you did, this can tell you. And if I scroll farther down, it says I'm going to add the 04 testimonial clip starting at that position. And if I had deleted anything, and in this particular case I haven't, I'd have a list of all of my deletions. For those of you that have tried to explain to your audio editor in sort of verbally over the phone with a lot of hand waving, this takes all that stress away. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar entitled Cool New Utilities for Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 108. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for one low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 600 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. 
Our training covers both Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. Thanks.